Good morning. This is day four. Waking up on the bonny banks of Hosewater. And it is a lovely morning, apart from the midges. So it's about half six now. Going to get packed up and head towards Shep. And then maybe Kirkby Stephen. But that's a long, long way. So we'll see. So. It is 9 o'clock in the morning and we have just passed Hosewater, just passed the dam at the very top. We're walking down into Burn Banks, so I think that's four miles done already this morning. It's quite slow going there at the start, quite up and down over kind of like pebbles and stones. And there's a rabbit just ran up past there, never mind. Um, we're trying to get to Shap. Kind of like still in morning kind of time, maybe get a coffee, get some supplies and then when we get there try and make a plan of where we're going to try and get to at the end of today because Kirkby Stephen was what 29 miles from where we were? Yeah, too far, which is kind of too far so but I don't know if there's anywhere kind of in between Shap and Kirkby Stephen that we can actually camp or if there's any campsites or anything at all but yeah, so I think we've now got to go into the forest and work our way down to the barn. Is barn a Scottish word? I don't know. Anyway, right, seeing Shap. Coast to coast walkers and visitors, please grab a drink. Priceless inside. What? Oh, I'm not paying for that water. Not even with a filler. We just lucked in pretty hard there. Um, we're just passing through some like farm farmyards and stuff and saying there was some kind of horsey event going on and then a woman comes out and says they've got a catering van that we're welcome to use so we stopped off there and had bacon roll, sausage roll, a couple of coffees, a can of Pepsi, got some more water excellent honestly that's the best thing that's happened so far <laughs> we're just walking through some muddy fields and feeling kind of crap about it, <laughs> especially after leaving the Lake District. But that's that's got spirits a bit high again. So yeah, on to Shap. Shap, 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 Shap. <laughs> Just seen some horses over there, and discovered that Ali can't make this noise. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the. You're doing. Oh, well, how do you shout a horse over? Here, horsey, horsey! <laughs> this is us. We're about to pass over the M6. I never really thought I'd ever be doing this. The amount of times I've went down the M6 going from Scotland to Coventry, it's unreal. But here we are. The M6. <laughs> oh my god, it's so much bigger when you see it like this. Yeah. I've always wondered, like, when you go down a motorway and you see these people going over these bridges, like, what the hell are what they the doing? Fuck are they <laughs> Especially in the middle of nowhere like this, because like this is a weird one because when you go when you're going down this part of the M6, you kind of feel like you're in the middle of nowhere, and it's very pretty. <laughs> Apart from there's like a big quarry over there, you kind of know it's that when you're coming down the M6. But, yeah, look at it! <laughs> so, that's another milestone. <laughs> See all these crazy looking rocks you get in the Yorkshire Dales? They're really good. <laughs> 10 out of 10, would recommend. I'm definitely coming back. Definitely come back for your day trip. And there's a big boulder over there as well for good measure. It's got no business being there. Yep. That's a video of Yann and a rock. It's meant to be a picture. Don't mind. Flapjacks, double deckers, cool drinks. <laughs> All the Lucasade, Coke, water, um, Lucasade Sport, cream soda, cloud of lemonade. Yeah, what more could you ask for? 
Amazing. Okay, so it's seven o'clock, well, five past seven on day four. We've left Orton. We're trying to get to Smardale Bridge. But we'll just keep walking as far as we can tonight because the weather is absolutely glorious. The ground's quite dry. We're walking along the road at the moment. I think we have to go off onto a footpath soon. But yeah, the terrain's been really good. We can go pretty fast. So I don't think we'll quite make Kirkby Stephen, but we'll get close. And then tomorrow won't be so horrendous. And maybe we can make this a 10 or 11 day walk. Hopefully a 10 day walk. That's the aim, finishing on Saturday. But look at this. Look at scenery, look at this weather. Unbelievable. We're very, very lucky today. This is hopefully going to be our wild camping location for tonight. Can't remember what it's called. Rihanna, what it's called? What's it called? Smardale. So, yeah. Smardale Bridge. Really quite pretty. Just need to find a flat bit of ground to put a tent, if there is any. And hopefully there's not any cows in the fields. Or angry farmers. But yeah, quite a pretty spot. And the sun's just starting to go down, so we're running out of time. It's nearly nine o'clock at night. But yeah, let's see what we can do. Unreal midges. So that is Smardale Viaduct, mm -hmm. which is closed at the moment because of the handrail. It's unsafe. But it looks quite nice. What kind of dog is this? Quite small. Okay, so I thought he was dead, but I just seen him moving. Don't know why he's here though, the water's the other way. Maybe he's gonna dry up. Maybe we should move him. Go on, move again. Don't play dead. Okay, so that is 82 miles done, 108 to go. But just remember to maintain social distance, so. <laughs> Not sure if that's visible, but it says, fuck off. Off. Piss. Off. Times. Ten. These nine standards are a lot smaller than people say. And there's only one of them. Farms, farms and more farms. And some weather. So let's get going. Come on. End of basically the west part of the coast to coast, and we're going to start at the east. So I think they say that all the rivers either side of this, either to the west or to the east. So yes, yeah, kind of like the backbone of the Pennines. Yeah, wow. No one really knows what these stones are for as well. There's lots of different kind of like folklore and stuff. But what is it for? Yeah? Well, it's pretty obvious. Just think about it, yeah, I suppose if you think about it, it's obvious what these are for. So yeah, just bear that in mind. Absolutely nothing out there, just rivers. So, decisions, decisions. There's a red route and a blue route. You take the red route, you wake up, and it's as if none of this ever happened. If you take the blue route, See how deep this body hole goes. 
Anna doing her part for path erosion. You take a picture here and you send it in to, well there's details on that post there. It's a QR code and it allows the National Park to measure the erosion of the path. Pretty clever actually, doing our part. <laughs> How was the Lake District, Ali? Good. It was good? Very good. How's um, Yorkshire been? No comment. No comment? No comment. Did you enjoy walking through the bog? No comment. <laughs> good morning. It is day six of our coast to coast walk and we've stayed at Keld, or just outside Keld in Swaledale Yorks. Um, campsite. We thought we weren't going to get to stay there um, because they were fully booked, um, which is a shame because it looked really nice. But just as we were turning around and leaving, the woman shouted us back and said she'd try and make some space for us. So we got we got a nice little pitch actually in the end, and you got to use the showers and all that, which was great. I think she, got sorry for us. I think she must have seen us and was like. <laughs> We need, need to do, <laughs> yeah, we need to do something to let them stay. <laughs> um, so yeah, that was really nice. Um, there was a lot of midges though, like as bad, if not worse, than some of the the worst I've seen in Scotland. I like really, really think bad. It's the worst midges I've ever seen. Yeah, it was like even dense. even when we were just sitting in our tent, you could just see them outside. It just like swarms of them just waiting for us to get out or just waiting for the slightest opening in the tent to just get in. So even this morning as well, putting away a tent, it's just got totally attacked. But but yeah, it's a beautiful morning here in Yorkshire. So where are we going to try and get to today, Rihanna? Um, well, I can't even remember. Reef would be the first place and then maybe on to Richmond. Yeah. Is that the plan? But that's still quite far. So we'll see how we go. Apparently you can see otters if you go the low route for out of Keld. I doubt we will, and I think it's too late, but might as well give it a go because I love an otter. So here we go. Right, on to reef. There are rabbits everywhere when you follow the river swale on the low route from Keld. Never seen so many rabbits. In the Yorkshire Dales, there seems to be a lot of grouse, and I don't know if you've ever walked past a grouse before, but they seem to wait like in a bush for you to get really, really, really close, and then like bah, 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 jump out of the bush and fly away, and it honestly gives you a heart attack every time. But you just can't prepare for it, can you? You don't know when it's going to happen. Every time, time we're oh my god! <laughs> it's actually ridiculous. But yeah, there's a lot of them, <laughs> so enjoy. So the guidebook said you might see an otter. I think it might be this stone one here. Shameful. This is what happens after you've had a big pub lunch. You won't go out anywhere near That was loose before. <laughs> that is the best thing I've seen all day. Richmond. So we could stay here tonight, the end of day, what, six? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> no idea anymore. Could stay here tonight, which might be an idea because it's nearly half six. Or Colburn, something like that. I'm pretty sure Colburn um, is closed. <laughs> I just, I want to get a hotel. <laughs> My feet are killing me. I've developed a bit of a foot issue. But, ah, uh, been pulling through. Got all the drugs. Are you? Yes, I've got all the drugs in me now, so it's fine. <laughs> I'm walking faster than you, yeah, look. Pick up the rear. He's just doing this for the <laughs> video. Sure thing. I have. <laughs> I'm in a lot of pain. <laughs> so that behind me is Richmond Castle, which means we're leaving Richmond on day six because we found out there's a pub in Colburn, Colburn? Don't know how to pronounce it. Um, but they let you stay in their beer garden with a tent if you buy a drink. So 
that seems reasonable to me. And they've also got showers and toilets, so perfect. Good morning. It is day seven of our coast to coast walk and we stayed at the Held Yard Arms Inn in Colburn last night in their beer garden. But it's more than just a beer garden. It's They've got quite a big garden at the back and it's not like you're in amongst where people might be, especially during the week. It was a Tuesday night for us, for example, and there was no one else there apart from another couple that were doing um, the walk from east to west. Um, so yeah, just pitched up next to them. What's that, Rihanna? Okay, so yeah, uh, you can stay there for free as long as you buy a drink or you have food in the pub that evening. So that's great. And they've also got like showers and toilet facilities. It costs 50p to have a shower, but I think you put the 50p in and you basically just got as long as you want. They also had um, some, what would you call those little, uh, I don't know what you call them. They're like coaches that would be converted so you could stay in them. Like kind of like horse coaches, is that what you call them? But they could be converted so you could stay in them. And I think you could stay in them for £60 a night. But when you stay in the campsite for free, it's like, yeah, it's great. Um, so yeah, got a decent sleep. And now, and we got a breakfast as well, actually. So we're setting off a little bit later, about 8 o'clock. Want to try and get to Ingleby Cross. Um, there's meant to be another pub there that you can stay in their garden but speaking to that other couple that were going the other way they said they passed there yesterday and it was shut because of all this Covid stuff they're only doing reduced hours from like Thursday to Sunday and today's Wednesday so that sucks don't really know where we're going to stay tonight might just have to go past there up into the woods and see if we can find a spot to wild camp but yeah, I'm fine with that because we're all showered and fresh today. And if we, if we have to well camp, then so be it. But yeah, let's see how far we can get today. I think we've, I think we've pretty much nailed on to a 10 day walk, aren't we, Rihanna? Uh, I don't know, nine, yeah. nine or 10, still being ambitious. I mean, it could be possible to do it in nine days, but there's, there's no need, just do it in 10. Yeah. Might have a short day in the last day, which would be ideal. Get to Robin Hood's Bay quite early and then yeah, get home, Get have to travel back down, back down south, so, yeah, all good. Just passing underneath the M1, I think it's fair to say we're not in the late district anymore. <laughs> ah, nature. This is the actual route, right next to a barbed wire fence and a river and not much gap in between, it's really overgrown, but it's just to keep you out of that field I think, with bulls in it and cows with calves, yeah. This is also part of the walk. Arts and A roads. Well, that was a bit scary. Like all the all the animals we've passed so far, like sheep and cows, have been pretty interested in us. But especially cows. Especially cows, but. That field back there had about 50 cows in it. And look, you can the see that. still staring still at us. Still looking at us, still trying to get to us. But when we entered that field, a few of them started charging at us. <laughs> like. Really excitable, it was terrifying. Yeah, I've never really been scared of cows or anything before. Yeah. Kind of grew up 
in the countryside but that was a bit weird like one was probably coming towards us and like kind of shaking its head about like like it was crazy <laughs> mad cow disease so we had to like bang our poles I can't together they're all there watching us <laughs> still watching be like shouting at them and everything some of them were just like some of them were pretty scared but there was like one or two that were just like nah I'm coming for you so we had to get out of there pretty fast yeah well that's woke me up <laughs> oh dear. the white swan closed until further notice obviously but Robin Hood's Bay 60 miles and St B's 130 not bad but I'm starving <laughs> I really need some food and I don't know if there's anywhere else we can get food <laughs> oh well, let's see what we can find. Oh. <laughs> They're training them. Are you coming back? Come on. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't say this is the path. They just made it, must have changed the path themselves. Mm. Like the people on the farm. This is off the path. Oh. Then we take a right onto the road and then a left off the road and then cross our railway. We still got fucking ages. It's this famous spooky style. Please beware of the witch. <laughs> Check out all this. <laughs> what have we got in there? Oh, cool. Let's tuck in. This is the end of day seven, end-ish of day seven, Ingleby, Ingleby Iron Cliff. The end of our coast to coast <laughs> Have you had enough? Yeah. Oh, there's a car coming. So this is us at the Bluebell Inn in Ingleby Cross after walking about 20 miles through just field after field after field and just getting absolutely soaked in the process because all the kind of like public footpaths and stuff are like overgrown and yeah and it's really hard to actually find our way through them at one point I like a, a farmer boy had to come out and tell us where to go because we must have looked really lost but yeah so it's only about five o'clock but that is 20 miles we've done so we're just setting up here we're going to get some showers and some food and take it easy tonight. Another big day tomorrow, maybe another 20 miles. So, yeah, very tired. <laughs>